Welcome back to Disabled and Prepping, and today I managed to get over to Munchie's Discount Grocery Store. So I have my bag over here, and I'm going to show you what I got. So first of all, I picked up two of the Snapple mangoes. Um, mango uh, black and green tea, so that I'm going to mix with my kombucha, as I normally do. Sometimes I just have a glass of it, but it was two for three. I know that they had some things that were on discount and they weren't marked that way. So I don't know if they were actually this, any of this stuff was actually the actual prices marked or if it was lower. But it was definitely at least the prices marked, um, if nothing else. So there was some aisles that they had 50 cents each. And I know that was in the hot sauce and, um, uh, what was the other one? Uh, oh, salad dressings and things like that, but I don't need a whole, I don't need a bunch of those. So, anyways, I picked up two of these. I got one in the other room because I didn't think I needed to show you both. So, anyways, I got that. Um, I picked up some uh, Arizona sweet tea from Quick Trip as I went by because I was really thirsty. So... I picked up some of those. I like drinking those once in a while, but I also mix them. So let me get this strap out of the way and this one out of the way and we will get into the bag. The other two pairs, I bought four Arizona teas, but I had one on the way because like I said, I was really thirsty. Oh, and it's not from Munchies, but it's from uh, the Quick Trip. They had... Um, caramel apple pie so I wanted to give one of these a try hopefully you can see it clearly um, anyways it sounded really good I uh, didn't need it and I don't need the sugar but I'm gonna have this either tonight for a snack or tomorrow with my coffee so that's actually quick trip stuff but now we're getting into the munchies discount store um, so I picked up two more of these I do not use them in drinks, but they that's what they're designed for. Um, I take the little rind off of the, the pieces, and then I use the freeze-dried lime in like um, my ramen noodles and, and things like that. So um, it, I, be, I bet you it would also be really good in like, cold water for like in the summertime to add a little bit of flavor to it. Um, might try that next summer um, but I've been trying to get them get these when I go because um, I know that when they first got them they did not want to keep them in the store they just they weren't selling and so these are still probably from that stash that they had and so I just pick them up whenever I can because I know that they don't go very um, very well there so it's not like I'm going to have to go buy a bunch of them <laughs> before somebody buys them out. So, um, I also picked up a crud load of uh, candy bars uh, for some of the people in the building. They all wanted it, so I have... I, I did pick up some for myself, <laughs> but a lot of these are for some of the people in the building. So, um, I'm going to start off with... I don't know how many of these I got, but these are the caramel cold brew M&M's. I don't think I've ever tried these. I've had the caramel ones, but not the caramel cold brew. So that sounded really good. So I picked up two of them. They were their candy. It, uh, regular size is um, I think three for a dollar. And then or a dollar something. I don't know. It's like a dollar. Um, and then I'm trying to think. Their king size is like two something, I think, for three. So pretty good, decent price. Um, and here the vending machine is a dollar twenty-five or a dollar fifty per. I think it's a dollar twenty-five per candy bar. So <laughs> needless to say, there's a few people that will be willing to pay me a dollar so they can save the twenty-five cents or fifty cents per candy bar. So picked up some stuff. Um, so I got those. I'm going to try one because I have not tried it before. And then let's get all the candy. I'm looking for a bag. 
I don't have any right now. Anyway, so I picked up a whole bunch of Almond Joys because those go really, really quick in the vending machine. So I got three, six, nine, ten. 17, 18, 19, 20, oh, I picked up more than I thought I did, 20, 22, oh yeah, and so I got 22 Almond Joys because those go really quick and they seem very popular with the people, and yeah, I did get three, that's why I only got two more of the Almond Joys, and then I got this one, so it makes it three and three, so, um, yeah. That's what I got there, and those are probably going to be sold <laughs> fairly soon. Um, I did pick up, also, I picked up more of these little strawberry gummies. They're a dollar for uh, 1.58 ounces, but they are so good. So I am going to stash um, these away for, hopefully I can make it through the win to the winter with them, but... Uh, Anyways, uh, I picked up these because they were so good. Um, they do have uh, six pieces of a serving, so there's supposedly two of uh, two servings in here. So I don't know, but uh, who eats just one serving of these? So, anyways, um, I'm gonna try to put one away at least for later. I will have to probably stash it on myself because they are so good. Um, definitely worth the money. Uh, and then I picked up some Dum Dum Suckers, just because Halloween is coming. They don't usually do trick-or-treating in this building, from what I remember. But if uh, Danielle brings my, my worker, if she brings her kids over, I can give them some suckers. Or, you know, they're just nice to have sometimes. Um, so, let's set some of this stuff down there. Um, I, I don't... What was it? What were they? I forgot to tell you. Two dollars for, um, where's the, 10.4 ounces. So, pretty good price for, for that size bag for two dollars. So, I figured it would be great to give out to little kiddos. Um, and then I picked up some, and this is for later in the year, some soft Australian black licorice. Um, I tend to use it medicinally. I know that sounds strange, but it helps when things are a little, my system is a little sluggish. And so these are $2 for um, seven ounces, but it is really good licorice. Um, so yeah, that will be put away for later. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, might as well get these out. I tried to find I tried to find um, graham crackers there. They didn't ha have any graham crackers. So I'm still on a hunt for graham crackers, um, which I will have to probably pick up in a regular store then. Um, but I picked up two more of the marshmallows with uh, classic milk chocolate in there, stuffed in them. And I don't remember the price, so and it's not marked. So I got those. Let's put the crinkly, noisy stuff down here. And then, and then, and then, and then. Um, I picked up two of the uh, tomato bouillon with chicken flavor, and they were two for a dollar fifty, eight cubes in each. So I picked up two of those. You can't go wrong getting bouillon cubes; they seem to last forever. Um. And then I always have some kind of broth if I don't feel good or if I want to make something with them, I have them on hand. I try to pick them up when I can find them, um, but I did pick up two of the tomato and chicken so that I have them on hand. And for two for $1.50, that's pretty good. I probably should have picked up some more, but I still should be able to get out for a little, little while longer anyways. Um, hopefully. So anyways, I picked up, they had these, um, four for a dollar. And you know me, if I can find the fruit in the pouches, I will definitely pick them up, pick them up on sale. So they were 
like I said, four for a dollar. These are all picked up two dollars worth, so I have eight um, of the Beech Nut Breakfast, it's called. But it's yogurt, banana, and strawberry. They're really good. I know they're baby food, but my other... These are for any new subscribers. I tend to use these during the summer as um, additives to a smoothie. Or just like, you know, those pouch apple sauces. I, I eat them just like that too sometimes. So during the winter, that's how I eat them. Um, but in the summer, I add them to smoothies or things like that. These would also be good um, if they were just the fruit, not the yogurt. They would be good to add to kombucha for your second ferment. Um, but seeing that it has yogurt, I don't know how that would work, so I, would, I won't do that. Um, but, oh, I just saw that it said it made with whole, whole milk yogurt, so that's pretty cool. And do not microwave. Why would you want to microwave them? I don't know, but it's on there. Um, a little side note while I'm getting this put up here. Um, I had got, when I had my ferrets, I used to use those little wood pellets for the wood pellet stoves. Because it was cheap and you can get a bunch of them. And it kept down their uh, litter box smell. And on the bag, it said, not for human consumption. Who eats wood pellets anyways? Like... I don't know. You guys have probably some mental health issues to uh, eat wood pellets. Uh, but the bag actually said not for human consumption. So, I don't know. Somebody had to have. Otherwise, they wouldn't have put it on there. Um, and I was getting a little nostalgia um, for... I had really used to love going to Rippin because they had the Rippin cookies. And you could get the animal cookies there. And they were so good. Plus, when you were there, you could you could uh, taste test all of their cookies, so it was pretty cool. Um, but they don't they no longer let you go shopping in their uh, in their little uh, factory. They used to have a little store attached to it too, and they no longer have that. So I was feeling like I wanted to, and seeing that they don't do it anymore, I found these uh, circus animal cookies um, from Frosted Mother's Cookies for five dollars it's a little bit more than I really wanted to spend on cookies but um, it's still not a really bad price you know so and it's a resealable bag so once I open them up I can um, close it in so that's nice so yeah five dollars for this big what, what is it uh, 18 ounces so oh I think I'm going to sneeze hang on a minute I'm gonna pause Okay, I did. I sneezed really loud, y'all. <clears throat> Alright, so animal cookies. And then... Oh, it's another almond joy. Uh, let's see. Where did these go? Okay, there they are. Oh my goodness. Here's another uh, caramel cold brew. Oh. Alright, well... Okay, and then I grabbed these because they sounded so good. Uh, planters, here, I'll show you the bag. I'm sorry my lighting is going weird today. So I will try not to move so you can see this without having a shadow. So this is the planters cashew. I'm reading the other one. Planters cashews, rosemary, and sea salt. Oh, don't those look good? Let's see if I can get a glare off of it. There you go. Wow. And they're two for five. So... Decent price on cashews. And they're planters, so it's name brand and cashews. So, And they're resealable. It just sounded so good. I, I don't know, like, if I... Hopefully there's not, like, big pieces of rosemary, like, here and stuff. But, uh, yeah, like, right here. Hopefully there's not real big pieces, because I don't know how it tastes just eating the pieces. So... Anyways, but it sounded really good, so I got them um, as a snack. And then I'm saving these for this winter, or um, the, I got three packages of beef jerky. I'm either going to save them for this winter, or I also use them in my ramen. I'll take it and cut up the pieces, and then put it in with the noodles. Not really small pieces, but I cut the pieces up a little bit so they're not like the chunks of... Um, beef jerky but I kind of cut them in strips and that way it softens with the noodles um, and then I add some other things to my noodles 
So this is the so this is the one I got. I'm gonna try to position it. It's gonna have a glare. I'm sorry, y'all. All right, this is uh, the Golden Island uh, Korean barbecue recipe. Fired grilled pork jerky. It just sounded so good. Um, and you can see the seasonings and the sesame seeds and, their, and the seasoning and stuff on it. It's just so good. Two for five fifty. So that's not too bad. They're two dollars and eighty-five. Uh, two dollars. Two pounds and eighty-five ounces. So, um, yeah. But I t I use I use these things most of the time as ingredients. Once in a while, I'll have them as a snack or a quick protein source. And you know, like instead of a meal, I'll just have some beef jerky or something. But uh, or some of the sticks. But usually, I use it as ingredients because I can't afford to eat just meat as like meat most of the time. So. I, I actually use it as an ingredient instead of like a main side. Even when I get hamburger and stuff, I'll make a hamburger once in a while, but usually I tend to use a lot of my meats as side item, uh, as an ingredient or, I don't, I don't know, it's just like I can't eat it like, because I can't afford it, I, I tend to eat it like an ingredient instead of like my parents, my dad was a big uh, meat potato guy kind of thing. Um, and so, you know, we had a meat portion and a vegetable and, and a um, potato or whatever, you know, that kind of thing. And I just can't, af most of the time I can't afford that piece of meat on the side. So I tend to use most of my stuff as ingredients. Um, I also did pick up um, No Man's Land beef jerky. It's um, a mild one. They had a lot of hot ones. So these are slow dried old-fashioned jerky 17 grams of protein per serving and it was a $10 package so it's six ounces but these were $10 I know their beef jerky goes up and down in prices depending on the um, amount of the truck that it comes on all their stuff is kind of variety through that kind of thing um, but it's usually less expensive there than anywhere else but this is the, I think, I don't pick up too many of their five, uh, of their $10 packages, but seeing that it's getting closer and closer to the time I'm getting stuck inside, um, it's just one of those things I have to do now if I want to have it. Um, let's see, I also did pick up, I have a little bit more of this, but I only picked up one um, of the mayo ketchup. Love this stuff. I know you can mix mayo and you can mix ketchup together and make this, but it's so nice when I just want to do it one time real quick and I just put it on there. And it was two for three, but I only got one, so they, you know, they discount. So, yeah, let's put it there, I guess. Alright, a few more things. Um, I picked up two more of, well, they're two different two different bottle types, but uh, this one, oh, this one's in cane sugar, that's why. Okay. Um, I did not know I picked up one like that. Alright, so these are the, alright, I'll show you this one. This is the one in cane sugar, this one does not have the cane sugar thing on it. So, um, it's aloe vera drink, and they're both pineapple, correct? Yeah, both pineapple. So I like these things, and they were two for three, which um, I don't even know if I can pick up the big bottle at like, uh, I don't even know if, uh, if Dollar Tree has them anymore. Maybe only at Save-A-Lot. And I haven't been there this year, so I don't even know if they have them. But um, I do like these aloe drinks. I can't, I really wanted to get into like drinking more of just the aloe juice. Um, and you can get it in a big gallon jug, but I can't seem to get myself to be able to drink it like that. So I tend to get things that are similar to this, and they're a good alternative. Um, when my stomach is upset, the aloe seems to settle it a little bit. And then I picked up three um, of these drink additive things. So I got... Um, a vitamin C and zinc immune support propel um, I think it's supposed to say 
Uh, okay, that's part of that. So it's just, they have the label that it goes, and then it starts to say berry here and something there. So I guess it's only lemon berry, um, and there's 10 tablets in here, and these were 250 I don't know what the normal price is, so I don't know if, I'll have to look it up, but I'm, I know that they usually go less than the original price, but I picked up those. I really wanted to get some orange flavored um, Milo. I think it's called Milo. Anyways, um, but they didn't have any orange. And these are $1.75 a piece. So I picked up two and I have the black cherry. This one's, um, the black cherry, I guess, is an energy one. And it says caffeine and B vitamins uh, for the black cherry. And then the other Milo I have is berry pomegranate for $1.75. So these were both $1.75. I was trying to find the orange. I love the um, mandarin orange or orange flavored ones, whatever they are in there. I think it's mandarin orange. Oh, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. My brain isn't with me today. So I picked up two of those to add to waters and stuff. And then they had a sale on... I can't remember how much they were because none of these are marked. Okay. Well, they had a sale on these little Hall Minis. So they're Hall's brand cough drops. Um, and I picked up, they're sugar free, and I picked up two cherry flavor and one, oh. Okay. Two cherry flavors of these. So these are cherry flavored ones, and they have 24 drops in them. And it says relieves coughs, sore throats, and cools nasal passages. Cherry flavored. So I thought these would be nice to have. They are sugar free. And then I picked up this one, which is the watermelon, which I was sh uh, showing you just a second ago. And still 24 drops. And I guess this one's sugar free. What did I see that I thought was different? I don't know, I guess just the flavor. So, yeah, I picked up two cherry and one watermelon. So, I believe that is it, folks. Yep. Yep. That's it. So, I picked up some things for this winter. Um, I'm kind of starting to feel like a little psychotic little squirrel. Because uh, there's some new things that I would like to have for over the winter. Um, and so I'm trying to squirrel some of those away, but I also like to enjoy them now. So that's a little bit harder time. Uh, it's really hard when you want to enjoy some things now, and you also want to have some for the winter. So it's not always possible to have both. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I'm glad that I picked up some things for my drinks, uh, for the water. Even though I filter my water, um, I don't know. Why don't you tell me in the comments if you're if you're kind of the same way? If I drink water, just plain water, I get super dry throat and like I feel like I'm constantly thirsty, thirsty. Like the water doesn't quench my throat uh, thirst, but if I put a little something in it, like a squirt of one of these or something, um, it's like. It's fine. It, it doesn't cause that same problem. But I don't know if it's just me and I'm weird. Because that's true. I am <laughs> weird. And my system is weird as well. But uh, I've heard a few other people say that they can't drink plain water either because it does that to them too. Like I can literally drink a whole gallon of water and still feel thirsty. Um, but if I put a little something in it, it doesn't do that to me. So... I don't know. I don't know what's with that. My doctor can't tell me either. So I'm just wondering if any of you experience the same thing. Or if you don't. Um, but I gotta get going because I gotta put all this stuff away. Um, so you have a wonderful day. A wonderful night depending on when you watch this. And may God bless each and every one of you to overflow. And may he keep you, your friends, and family safe. Bye for now.